Good morning, class. I am Oketa Patrick from Physics Department of Veritas University, Abuja. Uh, today's experiment will be determination of coefficient of static friction on two surfaces using an inclined plane. The apparatus needed are an inclined plane with a protector attached to it, a wood block wood or metal block set of mass. So since there is an inclined plane, no need of uh, protractor and a triple beam balance. So the first thing we do is to we, we attach this paper to the set of width because we'll be using set of mass so that they won't fall off. So we place it on the triple beam balance, setting the triple beam balance to zero. We place this on it and adjust to measure it. So this 300 is up, our 400 is down, meaning it's not up to 400, we return it to 300. We now adjust the second beam, at 200, 20 is up, 30 is up, 40 is down, we return it to 30 and adjust the third beam. So here is the zero mark and here is the indicator mark on the beam line. So we align it, we adjust this to align it. So as you can see, we have 300 plus 30 plus 3.2. So our mass is 333.2 for the mass, 333.2 gram. Then we return to zero and weigh the wooden on. So we place it. If we adjust this, 100 is down, so the mass is not up to 100. We return it and go to the second beam. At 60, 70, at 80, at 90 is down. So it's not up to 90. We return it to 80. We now move this, the third beam. We move the third beam to balance it. Now, in doing this, we don't need fan to be on and we close the window so that there will be no air interference. So that there will be no air interference because it's very sensitive. Any small interference, it will move the beam. So, we align it. As you can see, it's settled. You see, just a little touch that I touch. You see how it's moving. So now you can see it's aligned. So we have 85.8 grams. So we remove it from the beam. We record on our table 85.8 grams. 85.8 grams we record it so we move the beam balance and we come to the inclined plane now we place this which we know is 85.8 grams on to align with the edge of the inclined plane we now raise it up gently and watch for the slightest movement. So you see at 27, it moves. So we return it on the angle against 85 grams of load, we put 27 degrees. We, place, we replace it back and place a mass, a 100 gram mass on it. That is our new load will be 185.8 grams. We repeat the procedure again, raising it up at 22, it moves. We record 22 degrees. We return it again and place 200 grams of mass on it. So the new weight will be 285.8 grams. We now adjust again 
for it to move. So which move at 20.5 grams. I mean 20.5 degrees. So we continue like that until we get the required set of mass. For this experiment, we will be needing up to 600 grams. So once we get all our angle, we impute them on the table. On the table, we have serial number, load in gram, angle of inclination in theta, then we find sine theta, cos theta, and mu, which is sine theta over cos theta. With that, we complete our table. Then we now plot a graph of sine theta against cos theta. And from the graph, we can solve other things, like the gradient of the graph and calculate the coefficient of the limiting pressure between a wood and a wood, or between a wood and a metal surface. Thank you as you watch this video. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and do have a nice day.